What's up guys, Triple M here again, and today I'm doing another quick video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Re Mini i25 wireless remote receiver slash remote control. Now this was a review model sent over to me by Retech, so um, big shout out to them for sending this to me. And as a bonus, they also send me a, a second one, and I'll be giving this one away. I'll tell you guys how you can win that later on in the video. So about this what this is it basically it has a usb receiver that you have to plug into your device to have certain function but it also doubles up as a remote control for your television so it, it has a built-in ir blaster so you can program certain buttons to work with your television which is pretty cool and it also has air mouse function so you can just point it at your screen and kind of move it around and click where you need to so not much on the box just a, a very nice picture on the front just some writing and as far as the, the re this is the authentic re sticker so if you guys don't see this then you might have a knockoff all right so without further ado let's open the box and see what's inside okay so this is a the usb charger it's also a uh, doubles as a usb extender and i'll just unwrap this so you guys can fully see what i'm talking about so this is how you charge the device. So you just plug this into the device while this is plugged into a, your favorite USB power brick or your computer. And then this part is, doubles up as an extension so you can plug this part into your computer or your television or somewhere where it's hard to reach and you can just plug the receiver right here. So that's pretty cool. It's like a combo cable. All right. Let's see what else is in the box. You have your special thanks from Re, which they send with all their products and then you also have a installation manual the quick start and different notes that that might be useful to you guys and if you're going to use this as a, a control ir control for your tv it does have instructions how to program it so you guys uh, definitely need to take a look at that if you're using it for that function i will be using this on my on my Amazon TV box, so probably won't use the IR blaster as much, but you guys are welcome to check it out. Alright, so here's the wireless receiver that you will need to plug into your device. And last but not least, let me flip this the other way. Here's the remote slash keyboard. Alright. First overall feel it feels pretty premium. Right here has a, a rugged surface, um, rugged and glossy at the same time. Which is pretty cool every different buttons at the back power set your source and then you have your navigation keys right here left right up down your ok button also have your volume up volume down page up page down you have your back button and this button right here disables the air mouse there's your fast forward play pause power menu button search and your home button All right on the back you have a full court the keyboard you can see and it feels really nice in your hands it's pretty cool having a device this small that has the full functions of the keyboard feels really handy buttons have a nice solid click to them so you know when you press the button it's pretty cool right, nothing on this side however on this side get closer for you guys on this side you had the on off button and you also have the, the charging port for the for the battery so if I didn't mention this before this does have a built-in lithium-ion battery so you will not have to worry about um, changing batteries so that's pretty cool as well and that's everything in the box um for most of you guys this will be just plug and play if you're gonna use it for your for your TV, you will need to program the IR Blaster, but I'm gonna plug it into my Android TV box and I'll show you guys how it works. All right guys, so I went ahead and fired up the, the Android box and I plugged in the dongle and right away, 
everything's working so let me just show you guys um, show you guys the remote function so <clears throat> let's turn it on first there it goes so here's the pointer up down left right and it's all working there you can also use this button right here to disable the pointer so now nothing's moving and now you can use the navigation keys to to navigate through the different menus all right so let's enable the pointer again another thing i want to point out with this remote is the pointer is deactivated when you flip it like this so if it's flipped over you can move around and the pointer won't move but if you go like this the pointer is back on which i think is a pretty cool feature all right so if you want to click on let's say cody for instance well actually let's go to the browser first so press the OK button in the middle, goes to Google, and let's see if we can do some typing. Flip it over, www, oops, I'm pressing the cues. <laughs> Try that again, www.youtube. com. Push enter. And it asks me if I want to open in the YouTube app or the browser. I just click down and just go to the browser for now. And I'll just flip back over. I just go to just once. There we go. All right, and there it is. That's YouTube. So if I wanted to search my videos, for instance, click on there, flip it over, I just search. Um, you look Wookie. Push enter. And I can switch it back to the pointer and I can go. This is one of my videos right here. Click on that. And it's, you guys can see it's it's definitely working. So definitely passed the test for me for the keyboard and the, and the remote so um, here's the volume up you can see it's turning it up down you can also move the page up and down moving it down right now moving it up All right. and I, as I mentioned before this button is to disable the pointer so I click here and the pointer doesn't move anymore click there and it's back you can also um, press this to go back you have the mute button. You have the power button. I don't want to press it. Well, let's press it and see what happens. I'm not sure what that did look like it. Huh. Let's look into what this button does. <laughs> Didn't turn it off. It, if anything, it looked like it took a screenshot, but that's something I have to some research on. You have a menu button right here. Bring up the, the menu from the browser. You also have a search button and a home button. Press the home button. It'll bring you back home, which is awesome. All right, so let's go into Kodi. Um, this is a brand new box I haven't yet set up, so everything on here is stock. Whatever the, the seller put on is what's on it right now. There's a Kodi Media Center. And um, it's also an app, so you can go directly to Cody. But let me just click here, and it brings you right to Cody. These guys can see the the air mouse is, is actually interacting with Cody, which I think is pretty cool. Let me remind me later. So you scroll, move to the right. It, it kind of scrolls by itself, or scroll scrolls for you. Then you can move to the left. So let's go to movies, and then we can click on Exodus. All right, now we can go to, let's go to search. Since the seller on this is the, the keyboard, right? Go to search, and we can search mm, Nemo. Click enter, and let's see what pops up. All right, so here's the different ones, and here's Finding Nemo 2003 on there and it's loading from the sources all right so 
Um, not much more to cover on this video. Like I said, guys, this does have an IR blaster as well, so you can program it to to learn certain keys from your television if you want to go that route. For me, I'll be using it for for my media box, so um, it's basically plug and play. Can program the source button right here to do whatever you need it to do. Um, like I said, great remote air mouse combo, definitely recommended. I'll uh, put the link in the description for you guys who, who want to go out and purchase it. And also wanted to talk about the, the giveaway because Free Tech did send me two of these guys. So, what I'll be doing basically, this is how it works I'm gonna set the view to 500 views. So, whenever I reach that reach that view count I'll go ahead and uh, pick a winner randomly to qualify to be in the drawing all you have to do is just retweet this video and subscribe and like this video subscribe to my channel and like this video all right and when we hit 500 views I'll go ahead and uh, pick a winner that's it for this video guys thanks for watching like I said if you have any questions about this this remote just let me know I try to answer them as best as possible overall impression this remote is, is great it, it's a it's the best of three worlds in one the air mouse the keyboard as well as the IR function for you guys who want to use it for your television so please subscribe like and if you have any other questions let me know I'm going to go to the next one.